We're Annalise and Jordan and we love adventure, hence the name. We've been living full time in our van with our dog Lily for over a year and we're finally travelling around mainland Europe. Last week you seen us board the Euro Tunnel. So we're just going through the French border bit now. Bonjour. And visit the French village of Balloon. This week we head out on more adventures and our plans may have changed. Morning guys, so this is where we stayed last night. It was bloody loud, so if you're not really a person that sleeps very well, it was super loud last night. There's like a nightclub over there. It's just on the outskirts of Ghent. The reason why we're staying here is because it's a free bus service straight into Ghent, so that's what we're going to be jumping on now. At least one of us has come glam. Is it you? Woo, little sass queen. It's not really. My hair's the greasiest thing ever, so I've just had to like slick it back. So I think this is the free bus service. We're just going to walk on and see what happens. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So this is the uh, park and ride service that you get on. It's totally free and it's electric as well, which is quite cool for going around the city. Oh, we met some lovely people from the, Belgium. Oh, as well. mate, the people are amazing already. We just got on and everyone was speaking to us, playing with the dog. It was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, really nice. Feel dead welcome. Look at that! <laughs> that is class. This place is definitely like something off Harry Potter. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. That's really crazy. Still don't like, feel like we're here. Ah, oh, there's the yeah. guy. I was looking for who was playing. Yeah, the I thought it was just been playing like in the background. All right, guys. So. <laughs> That was like a quick trip pretty much. We've uh, headed back to the van. It started raining, horrific. Lovely little like city, innit? Really nice city. It was absolutely amazing, mate. Right? It was beautiful. Can you see me? <laughs> That's better. But it's just, without sounding ungrateful, because we're not, and it is beautiful, it's just not us. No, it's not, not us at all. We're not city people. No. We thought we'd give it a go, and it's too busy. We want to yeah. be in the mountains or by the coast. Are you going to tell them? No. Either way, we're jumping in the van and we're heading off, but we're not going to tell you where we're going. <laughs> We made our way down to the south of France, making rest stops along the way. But let's fast forward a few days. Hi guys, so we woke up last night here in this vineyard, parked up pretty much at the back of the guy's barn. It's quite cool because when you go travelling overseas, if you look for the little tractor signs on part for night, it shows you like little farms and little vineyards where you can park up for free. And they also offer a wine tasting experience as well at half six and that's free of charge as well. And if you did want to buy some wine, you can buy them directly from them. How cool is this little park up? After a morning stroll through the vineyards, it was time to head off to our next spot. So where are we going then by the coast? Yeah. Two hours and three minutes away. Let's go. Let's go. Trying to bring this pan of chocolate? No, I think there's one up floor. Been yeah. baking in the window though. So these are the dome things. I don't know if you can hear me because obviously with the wind and everything, basically you empty your toilet into that hatch there. You've got water fill up on the side, water fill up this side. And it's basically just a service area. It's eight euros a night, I think. And you're right on the marina there. And the beach is literally like probably two minutes away walk. There's showers here as well and places where you can do your dishes. 
we're just going to go and have a little explore of the area that we're in um, and just see. watch the sunset as well because it's just about setting over yeah, there. Yeah, that, that'll be good, wouldn't it? So that's us back for the night guys. <laughs> so we're going to get our heads down and we'll catch you in the morning. Early morning we got back on the road and made a beeline for Spain to enjoy the good weather. We've crossed the border! <laughs> Spain is where we'll be spending most of our time so now the big long drives are done it's time to relax and enjoy the beautiful Spanish coastline. So guys we're having a little walk down to this little cove beach here. Looks stunning. We just pulled over at the top, like the top of the hill, and the water just looks crystal clear from up top. So we're just gonna make, I know, we're just gonna make our way down. I've literally fell about three times now. Ooh. You going in? Super clear. <laughs> it's actually not even that cold considering like, it. Is it not? It's swam like all its Scotland and the locks and stuff. It feels like a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> So we're in a place, I think it's pronounced Lanka, that's what it looks yeah. like anyway. And it is actually the final stretch of the Costa Brava before it reaches France. We woke up on a car park right on the beach front. Um, normally during the summer you can't do that, but during the winter when it's like out of season you can. But we, should, we, we were looking on the maps, right? I was just looking in the area and we found this like natural um, pools. So when the tide goes out, this here, is literally a natural pool and it's stunning it's crystal clear it's proper warm as well it's november and it's still warm but it just looks amazing and i kind of feel like i want to go and get my swim shorts and get in hats off to annalise though she was up well before me <laughs> i'm a lazy bones yeah i've got my bikini in that bag really yeah i've got it in i've got my swim shorts in there yeah we've got a towel in there i packed it last night ready Teasing me now. Should I go in? Sure, we're going. We go in. Would you go in? I'd go in. Yeah. No, you wouldn't. I would. I'm sweating. All I'm right. I've got on my armpits this morning. I literally ran out of the van for like drink me drink outside, and my armpits are like sticking together. Looks like we're going in, guys. You can't really slide off the rock. You're gonna have to slide forward, aren't I? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who says coming away in November is bloody cold? What are they on about? Let's zoom in on you. It's boiling. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Go. Yes. Can you come in yeah, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. <laughs> 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 How do you float? I can't float, that saved my life. <laughs> I'm a sinker. But I'm sinking. <laughs> Try and put both your hands up. Go on, you ready? Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> How do you stay up? It was nice, but I'm scared of like the sea and rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so like when I look down and all I see is like black rocks and stuff, oh it gives me like the jibbity jibbities. <laughs> but it was nice, really nice. I need to get over my fear, it's doing my head in. I just get in and I panic. <laughs> back to make some dinner but I just want to show you something if you've got a van 
for me, shower room is like a must in a van, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Just mainly for, to house the toilet, but I want to show you what we use it for. So we have our toilet there, but we obviously we use it as a shower room as well. But we like to, we have this curtain pole that's like extendable and we hang our wet clothes on there to dry out and just turn the diesel heater on and uh, they dry out in no time. So we've left the van in the car park and we're going to head out up this hill over here. Apparently there's another like little cove beach on the other side so we're going out and exploring. The sun's gone behind the clouds a little bit so perfect weather to get out. Oh, it's loads of fish. Guys, check that out there. Let's go and have a look, see what it is. Oh, it's gone warm again. The sun's come out. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this in November. But there's like a little gate here. Looks like a tunnel. I wonder where it goes to. around this area are the bunkers of Lanka uh, because of the war that happened in 1936. So there we go then, that's what them bunkers were for. It's a good job we got an Elise. I'm, I'm one of them people that don't really tend to like look at what's in the area, I just turn up and have a little look around and hope that finds something interesting. <laughs> To be honest guys it's absolutely stunning here like you can just tell when you're in spain can't you yeah compared to france not putting down france or anything but yeah spain is just you just especially as well i think because we're surrounded by all the mountains here it's really shaded so it was due wind all week where we was and it was like 20 mile per hour and i feel like when you just want to kind of chill and the wind's like ugh, blowing you everywhere here, it's just so still and like it's just dead calm, isn't it? Beautiful. You're like sheltered by all the mountains all around you and there's like a stunning little cove, little cove feet just over there. It's just perfect. I'm trying to persuade Jordan to get the paddle board out, but it means him pumping it up. As always. <laughs> oh, she's absolutely loving it here. <laughs> Are you on your holidays now? Like a little yeah. fluff ball. a minute to appreciate that Mercedes van that is mega and here we are home sweet home That's three, Mercedes in a row. <laughs> three Mercedes no Volkswagens here so we've just caved in and I've got the uh, paddleboard on my back there's a woman with her pips out and I'm just waiting to see Jordan's reaction She's persuaded me to go in, so I'm gonna get me shoes on. I don't know what's on the floor in here. Something's gone in a little bit, but other than that, it's still warm. Bet you it's peeing down her home. Well, guys, that's us. We'll catch you later on when we get some tea. Okay, so it's just started to rain, so we're gonna make it into a bit of like an admin day. Yeah. We found a laundry service 
just like a few streets back from us so we're gonna get all our laundry done catch up on some content edit some videos yeah look at that can't beat the aldi uh, laundry bag <laughs> come on let's get going Hey up Lee. Bugger quick in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, small wash is seven euro, big wash is eleven. Washing's done. Smells really good. Smells lovely, doesn't it? Oh, it's amazing. Smell that. That one, and then start. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. So we've just pulled up at the petrol station. It's showing 156 euro, which is about 136 in pounds. But I don't think that we're going to go back to the same spot <clears throat> tonight. We're going to find somewhere new. So where are we heading, Jordan? Oh, wow. I don't know, but in like the other side of this headland in. So wherever that is. See where we end up. See where the other camper vanners and motorhomes are. Yeah. Safety in numbers, isn't it? It is, yeah. That is it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, because we don't know when we're next going to be posting a video we're going to try and get as many as we can so we're not set to a certain timetable but just keep an eye out for many more vlogs